Hi everybody, and welcome City of Los Angeles and surrounding counties. I want to introduce to you native grass. My name is Mike Garcia, founder of Enviroscape LA, sustainability expert, and there's something really disturbing that's to me as, as a lover of nature and, and the environment. People are ripping out their lawns and they're replacing them with gravel or mulch or they're doing just dirt. That's unacceptable for LA. For LA, you know, LA is known for Hollywood, it's known for Beverly Hills, it's known for its eclectic restaurants. I mean, it goes on and on, our beaches. But most of all, it's known as this lush, beautiful paradise. And what's going to happen? What kind of legacy are we going to leave for the future generations if we pull out all the green, especially our grass? So, uh, the reason people are pulling grass out, and it breaks my heart to, to know this, but it's because grass, typical grass, traditional grass, it needs too much water to, to live and look great. So I want to introduce to you a native lawn. You can cut this. In fact, look, we're, we're installing it right now. Uh, this is what sod looks like, grass, when you first install it. And so we're installing it right now. Now there's a few differences of what makes this diff very different, unique, and special. I agree, you should pull out your grass that sucks up a lot of water, needs a lot of water, but you should replace it with native lawn. And this is called a native lawn. Now why native? Well native because uh, it's indigenous to the area. And so there's actually a company out there that actually planted this two years ago. And so it takes two years to establish but once it's established, you cut it with a sod cutter, you can deliver it wherever you want. So we prepped the soil. We actually ran underwater drip irrigation lines. Uh, it's this drip tubing that's, uh, that's a round tube about every 12 inches. I actually did a YouTube video of it. I posted it yesterday. But every 12 inches, there's a YouTube, uh, there's a, a, a drip line going through this grass. And then um, we set it up with a Rainbird valve, Rainbird Copper Shield drip irrigation, set up the ARV, we set up the clean out, that's all the drip irrigation stuff. Then once you're ready, you level it, you mend your soil, you level it, and then you lay down your native lawn. It will save over 50% water, and then coupled with drip irrigation, because we won't, we won't get any wind drift, like you do with overhead sprays. There's a lot of reasons why you want to get away from the regular sprinklers that pop up out of the ground. They spray water, wind drift, evaporation. It uh, gets on your garage, it gets on your fence, it rots your fence, it creates green walls. So many reasons why to get away from that type of technology and do drip irrigation. This is just the bomb. And so, uh, you know, the, the couple here, they have kids. Uh, they want to play frisbee, they want to be, uh, play soccer. You can do this. You can do it on a lawn. And, and this is a type of lawn, it's a native bent grass. You only have to cut it every other week, so you don't have to have the gardener come every week. It's just an every two week thing. Um, and it uses a fraction of the water that a normal lawn does. So you can have your lawn, you can play on it, looks beautiful, and it's a carbon sink. It sucks carbon out of the ground, and it gives us oxygen in return. And when it rains, it, unlike concrete, it actually sucks in water and it recharges water in the ground. There's so many reasons why we need to continue to pursue this type of technology and why we need to do it in our yards. Uh, this is Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.